Hello there, my name is Dan and this is part 4 of my Resident Evil Zero Beginner's Guide walkthrough. We will be covering the laboratory in this video, so um, let's get to it. You pick up from the last time, we were just getting ready to leave the training facility for good, so I'm making sure I have uh, everything I want and with uh, both Billy and Rebecca. Plenty of healing items still here um, to leave behind. You can return here anytime you want, so don't worry about um, leaving behind anything too much. Just make sure you take all the weapons you want and the hook shot. And of course the tablet, which is required, which we just got at the end. But take the hook shot. I just want to say that a few times because forgetting it is a pain in the ass. And getting back here does require fighting a, um, a different batch of enemies because we will be changing up the environment. And there will be some enforcer apes waiting for you if you want to go back. And that is stress you by no means need. So we're going to head back this way. And we're going to reacquire our rocket launch or grenade launch, I mean, right here. Oh, I don't have enough room for it. And head on through the doorway here. I'm actually going to switch to Rebecca for a moment here. And reacquire all the other items in the area that I dropped. I left the Magnum and handgun ammo back here. It's good to have Rebecca ready to go anyway, because we actually will be using her here in a moment for the next boss. Because there is a trophy for defeating all the bosses with, except for Centurion with Rebecca. And this guy definitely counts for that. But go ahead and place the third and final tablet in there and it'll trigger a cutscene here. And if you're... Playing for the first time, this will complete the training facility and unlock a trophy for you. Okay, head back up the ladder. for Billy and we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the next segment go ahead and oh, Billy's not up here yet there we go all right go ahead and exchange give Billy the Magnamana take the grenade launcher with Rebecca You want a similar setup to this, you could use the shotgun in place of the grenade launcher if you want. That is entirely up to you. We're gonna head on out. Entering the next segment of the game. Alright, you notice we'll be back outside though, on the opposite side. Head across the, uh, to leave the facility for good and into this, uh, church area. We will need to split our team up again. You can do this with either Billy or Rebecca. Um, and have them go over and stand on that corner piece there to unlock the gate. i pick up the shotgun ammo while I'm in it. You need to take the hookshot with you, though. So keep that in mind. So that's why I have Rebecca with it. You could take the shotgun again. Um, I personally prefer the grenade launcher against this boss. Let's split up. Roger. But um, split your team up. 
And let's take her back in and face off against the third boss. This boss is either as easy or as hard as you make it, as is the case with the Stinger and the Centurion. Um, you can either kill him in about three seconds, or it could he could kill you just as yeah. It could literally flip that easily. But I'll show you um what will hopefully be a pretty good run against him. He does have two separate trophies tied to him, aside from just defeating him. Um one of which is for um getting picked up by him as it's a flying enemy. When he picks you up, it'll automatically unlock a trophy called On Other Wings. So you can do that one if you want. Um, it very well may just happen naturally anyway. It actually happened naturally when I first did it. And um, there's another one. He has bat allies with him, small bats. That one is extremely tricky to unlock. I would not be showing you how to do it in this run. It's a one, another one I kind of recommend for a later go perhaps in the Wesker mode. Um, what you need to do is shoot the main bat villain, which is the boss, with your handgun to weaken him up, and he'll spawn a bunch of the little bats. You need to kill 16 of those little bats, which is quite difficult because it's hard not to accidentally kill the main villain himself beforehand. It, that'll all make a little more sense when we see it going here. I just wanted to explain it now before I'm in the heat of battle against the thing. But all you have to do is go in there. I went ahead and saved. Give you a quick look at my save list. This part can be a bit of a stopping point, I think, for players on their on their first playthrough if they're running on normal. It can be a really challenging fight if you want. But what you need to do is just keep a lock on him with your L1, and then get in there. And when he gets close to you, just fire. You see L1 though, it, that's where the little bats can play in. But you notice then if you kill 16 of them, and you just hit them a few times at the grenade launcher, and he's down. That's it. Die Devil Bird. Trophy unlocked is what should happen. If you want in that fight, again, let him get close to you and he'll pick you up. You'll get the All Nether Wings trophy very easily right there. Um, there's no real reason to do it, otherwise, you'll just take a bunch of damage. Um, so I didn't show it right there, but just let him pick you up if you want, and you'll get a trophy. Again, if you miss a couple of their shots even, he came really close to doing it to me, and I just shot him at the last second. It's one of those things you probably don't have to worry about, especially if you play the game multiple times. But after that, just run back towards the door, and you'll be placed in the view where you can see the uh, hole in the ceiling, which you'll need to hook shot up to. And then you'll be, you'll climb, walk across the roof and down this ladder. Then see, you'll see the switch here. Flip the handle and it'll power up the elevator, which will lead down into the labs. You see a green and a blue, or, or a green and a red herb, if I know my colors. Again, if you need to heal up after that fight. And more herbs if you need them. And head back around here. And we'll be right back at the front. Yeah. We can reunite with Billy. As you can see, we are just overloaded on ammunition now. Sounding like a broken record with it almost, but. It's up to you when you want to make, you know, like what you want to use. The only weapon I would recommend being sparing with is the Magnum, which we don't even have yet. We will have it here sh shortly. That's the only gun I would say, okay, maybe you should hold off on using a little bit. But otherwise, you're going to be fine. I mean, if you want to use the flame rounds, use them. They aren't a bad thing to save up for to use on the Marcus. Yeah. 
Um, the, the Mimic Marcuses are good with the Flame Rounds, is what I was trying to say there before I distracted myself. Um, because they are weak to fire. I don't want the green one, I want the red one. A nice thing they added to this game, which has not been in other ones, is when you pick up a red herb, like I have a full inventory with Rebecca, so I could not take this, but you can go over to use here, and, just, and it'll automatically let you combine it from the spot there. That's a very nice feature you should take advantage of whenever you think about it. But once you're ready, go ahead and head down the elevator here. Okay, head on forward. Once again, another herb if you need it. And we're about to split up once again, believe it or not. This first aid spray, if you need it. And when you walk around this corner here, make sure you pick up this uh, diary, uh, Marcus's diary too. That's a very important one. Um, I believe it helps us with a code later on, which I'll give to you anyway, but if you were trying to do this normally, it would be needed. You can see there, there's another hole for the hook shot. We need to send Rebecca up there. It makes the whole process much easier if she just is the one to go. So what we're going to do is make sure Rebecca has a similar setup to what I have now. Perhaps you don't need the two health items. In fact, we definitely do not. But you want to give her the grenade launcher with the flame rounds. It'll work better that way. Um, you may even want to give her the shotgun as well. It's up to you. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and give her the shotgun. And do it this way. And Billy can use the flame rounds, because they both have mimic right Marcuses they have to deal with. But, um, I'll show you how to avoid it with Rebecca. So please bear with me. Just go with a similar setup to what I'm doing now. We're overloaded. Our overloaded inventory is kind of in the way right now. But um, that'll get helped here soon. We're almost finished with the hook shot. I'll go check over there. Yeah. So what we need to do now? Go ahead, separate from Billy, and use the hook shot to go up the hole here. There is a save point in that room, by the way. I did not actually show it. You'll see it plenty here in a few minutes. Um, if you want to save after fighting the bat, go ahead and do so before going up here or going any further. But after um, after we hook shot up, what you want to do is you'll see this uh, chair here has the laboratory manager's diary. Go ahead and pick that up. Alright, there's some ga uh, gas if you want to make some Molotovs. Now this is the, the Minocry Marcus that uh, Rebecca has to deal with. Just run right around him basically. Press this button. And you cannot carry this item right now. Huh? That's totally my fault. I hope, I hope I did not screw anybody over there. I probably screwed myself a little bit. Um, drop your the healing item. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to take a hit here. Now, I'm going to take a hit here. Hopefully you won't because of my ODSA. But grab that and then just run. You won't have to come back in here, so don't worry about that. And just leave. And I apologize if I put anybody in a bad situation there. That was, again, a ba just a bad play on my part. Really bad play. I'm going to run back and grab the map real quick. I don't necessarily need it, but... It may count as a file. That is not confirmed or denied. I don't think it would, but we want to make sure we have them, just in case. There we go. That is the only Mimicry Marcus you'll have to deal with with Rebecca right now, though. That's why it's better to let Billy take care of it with the flame rounds, because you will have to fight his, pretty much. Or you're facing a lot of hits. 
So go ahead and come into this room here. This is a great room because it's a, basically a safety net room where you can dump a lot of stuff. And we can finally leave that hook shot behind for a little bit. Give us some inventory breathing room. There's some more gasoline and a green herb again. And this is a, yet another save room as well. So feel free to use any of that if you need to. This door will be locked, we'll open that soon, but one thing you can go ahead and do now is hit this button here, go ahead and press that, it'll open up this wall, and you can hear the mimic cry Marcus, there he is. What will happen with him is we need to switch to Billy now, he's just standing there chilling, we got, we'll equip the flame grenades. You can do this in any order you want, again, it doesn't... This is something you could have done a little later. This is showing you where the save point is in the dumb later, which we will be using a few times. Go ahead and go through here. This is probably a little bit ahead of myself, but I want to get the Marcus out of the way. Come through there and just hammer him with the grenade and flame rounds him in. And he's done. Quick and easy. And just park Billy right here by the dumb liner. Go ahead and switch back to Rebecca. And, and head through this doorway here. Alright, and we'll be entering this uh, weird lab area. Go ahead and this zombie right here will attempt to attack you. Let's go ahead and shoot him. This other one will not for, for a little bit yet. Pick up some shotgun shells here. And we'll see the leech growth reports. Which along with one of the Marcus diaries helps you solve one of the um, codes we need for a safe dial. Again, I'll just provide that code for you when the time comes. Now come in here and grab this red chemical. If You, you should have the green chemical from earlier in the game. You'll mix those, th but they'll automatically mix together to form the stripping agent. Now take the stripping agent and combine it with the leech capsule, and you'll have the blue leech. So I just want to, I'll go over again. If you should have the green chemical from earlier, you pick up this red. It'll mix with your green to make the stripping agent. Take the stripping agent and combine it with the leech capsule and it'll free the uh, Blue Leech Charm. It's one of those things that's a lot easier than, um, to actually do than to say. It sounds a lot more complex than it actually is. But um, come over here to the dumb layer um, through those doors and send the Blue Leech Charm down to Billy. Hey, there are zombies in here. And blow their heads off. Just for inconveniencing you. Yeah. Okay, that was... Don't make that shot I just attempted to. That's just being greedy. Trying to look fancier than I deserve to be. Um, first aid spray there again, if you need it. There's another, yet another one. But come over here, this is the important part, getting the investigator's report. If you need any health at all, go ahead and pick those up. This is where the green chemical is once again. I went ahead and added it. I'm going to go, I'm, when I get back, I'm going to add the red one as well again. You will need them again in the future. That's just for efficiency. Um... It'll save you some time in the coming moments, but switch back to Billy for now. He's waiting by the dumb waiter and get the blue leech charm. And of course I have no room in my inventory for it. 
So I'm gonna switch over here. Billy took care of that zombie while I was away. I'm glad I left him equipped or he would have been attacked. I'm gonna dump the herb for now. Since that's most likely the thing we will need the least. And go ahead and take the blue reach arm. Alright, with that in hand. I'm gonna sw I'll switch the handgun, not to waste the f uh, flame rounds. Head back through the doorway here. We're gonna go t towards where the Memocry Marcus came from. Right around here, there's again more red chemical if you would need it. And this is the door we used the blue leech on. Release it and head on through. One's in here. Go ahead and pick up the uh, coil. And this will give you the old photograph. Um, it is one of the items you actually, you know, one of the automatic ones, so you don't have to worry about missing it because that coil is required. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. And get some minor story moments there. Come on over here, pick up some handgun and if you want. Which I'll go and grab. I'm gonna have to run back to the dumb waiter anyway because I'm out of inventory space. So just a moment. Because we need to get the green mage to send up to Rebecca as well. So this is a luxury that um, the higher difficulties will not have because you just will not have that much ammo. I'll go ahead and give Rebecca the, the Magnum ammo to carry around. Head back through here and into this doorway here. And this is where we'll find the green leech charm, which Rebecca needs to open a door. These zombies are gonna wanna. Oh, that one was already alive. I'm sure, this one. With the green leech charm in hand, we'll just head back to the dumb waiter and do some inventory moving. And this is that's a big part of the game. I mean, once you get to an optimized route and you just have a little more reasonable supplies instead of an overabundance like I have now, that's just how it's going to be. Um, you can really streamline it and optimize it to be like silk smooth. Like, in reality, I probably do not need the pistol anymore, but I'm still carrying it with me just because that feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> but I'd recommend holding on to it until you're absolutely sure. When it just becomes a legitimate burden to hold on to. But you have the Magnum ammo now. We'll go ahead and get the uh, green mage up there now.
Okay, Billy is done for a little bit. We can switch back to Rebecca. Alright, just to be safe, it's good to go ahead and grab a first aid spray here. We will have a somewhat dangerous room coming up here in a moment. Um, it's probably not a big threat on the easy setting, but it certainly is on normal and hard. And with with using Rebecca here, it's just it's just smart to play it safe. Uh, I was actually ahead of myself of when I said the difficult room coming up. It'll be here soon, though. So, upon grabbing the filter, head back here. We'll head to the room with the uh, where we got the red chemical at. Go ahead and pick up the red chemical now. You should have already grabbed the green chemical again. Um, let's go ahead and mix them together and make another thing in the stripping agent. That'll save you some time later in the game. And put the filter in. And clear out the gas. Okay. I'm gonna go and reload my shotgun real quick. And a little surprise, they will be attacked by the zombie there on the floor and the one inside the little chamber here. So just hit them with your shotgun, take them down, pick up the key to the breeding room. This is the, the, the breeding room is the dangerous room I mentioned before. And you will soon see why I said that. So go ahead and head back this way. The previously locked the door I mentioned before is where we're headed. Okay. Before going in, make sure you have your shotgun fully equipped. If you happen to have the acid rounds with you, which I clearly I abandoned pretty early in the run, they prove very useful in this room as well. Otherwise, the shotgun is your best bet. But when you get in here, you will notice there are two hunters waiting for you. Um, so just unload on them. You have to hit them there because that jump shot they will land on you. It does massive damage, even on easy. But after taking them down, that's it. There are two of them, but they. They're right there and they're ready to be on you. <laughs> and then look through that as you will. And inside one of the cages here is the safe dial, which we need for Billy. Okay, so go ahead and head on forward a little bit more. And once again, back to the dumb lighter. And send the safe dial over. There are a few ways you can do things next, it just, again, depends on the order you like to do it. What I do now is I'll take Rebecca back to where she ultimately will need to be. You can do this before, you can switch the Billy and do the stuff you'll do with him, then do this, or vice versa, it really doesn't matter. I'm 
go ahead and go through this doorway here where we laid the hook shot down. And we can switch back to Billy. Grab the safe dial. We're almost finished with this area. Just have a few more, a few minor things left to do. So with Billy, we're pretty well set. We have the two key items we need. If you need any health items, you can go and use the safe dial and come back and get them. You could save, of course, as well. There was a safe one in there with them. Just keep all that in mind. Plenty of health items still in the hallway here. Just because I'm not doing a certain thing, make don't take that as the end-all be-all. Do what you need to do with that type of stuff. So the code here, you find out in the one of the leech reports, in the Dr. Marcus diary, um, it ends up, it's actually 4863, make sure you do right, left, right, left. And uh, it'll open for you. 4863 Maybe I could use this. Rebecca here. Over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Alright. Now with Billy, go ahead and hit the whole switch over here. And that'll bring that Rebecca should be right up there. She isn't there in the video, obviously, but um what we can do now is pick this up. The output coil. Again, this is another situation where you can do things in whatever order you really want, except going the wrong way like I am right now. But you can do this. You can move with Rebecca right now, or you can move with Billy. It depends on how you want to do it. I like it because I get all the items up top that need to be there right away. There we go, and we're reunited with Rebecca. Alright, now what we want to do is give Rebecca the grenade launcher. She will need it for a fight here in a moment. Okay, drop, you can, for me, I'm going to drop the first aid spray for a moment. Okay. I'm just going to leave Rebecca there. And we have to use this little guy one, not that little guy. We have to use the hook shot one final time here before we can finish up. And then we can leave it forever. You can go back and throw it in the incinerator somewhere. I don't care what you do, but we're finished with it. Climb down the ladder with Billy. Again, there's probably a more optimal, there is a more optimal way of doing it than I just did there, but yeah, it's fine. But just go down over to this corner here, you'll see the whole point of view, and just use the hook shot and it'll automatically send you up. And then just come over here and unlock this door. Oh, I didn't intend to go through it. And you'll be right here. You and Rebecca can now Let's regroup, regroup okay. one final time. Go ahead and dump that stupid hook shot. Okay. 
And we need to use both of these items here. Let's power up the train, the cable car. Alright, and with completing the cable car power-up, I'm going to pick up the ink ribbon, save, and that's going to bring us to the end of the video. The laboratory section is basically completed. Up next is the treatment plant, so um, I hope you'll tune in, and um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.